My millionaire fiancé is extremely frugal and called me a gold digger so I called off the wedding and left him crying. <sighs> so I'm gonna go ahead and say, that was 100% your fault from top to bottom. The whole thing is like your fault. Let me explain to you why. For one, when he said he got out of a financially abusive relationship with a woman who took him to the cleaners, I'm not really sure how she did that, but she was able to. The first few things that should have happened was he should have went to therapy by himself and you all should have went to therapy together. These two things should have happened simply because so you can understand that he's over these things, he's accepted that this is the reality that would happen in his life etc 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 the stuff that's supposed to happen in therapy individually and as a couple to see how things are going that's the first part the second part is when you saw his house was like that that should have been a conversation between both of you or again immediately therapy like babe come on you, you don't have you have three pieces of silverware that's that's just ridiculous that's a hundred percent ridiculous. Three, come on, yeah, like babe, really? Like we we can't get more. Like the curtains, curtains are expensive as fuck. Fucking rugs are expensive as fuck. I don't understand why those things are expensive, but whatever. Those two things should have happened at first. And now on a more universal level, and this is just to everybody. If y'all get into new relationships or new marriages or whatever y'all get into. If you are not willing to do for your new partner what you did for your last partner, don't fucking tell them about it. It's fucking stupid. It is dumb as hell if you're not willing to do the same thing. I'm not saying you don't grow and don't learn from your mistakes. However, if you're not willing to buy her a 10 carat ring, there's no reason why that woman should have known you bought your wife a 10 carat ring. If you're not willing to take her on trips every six months or whatever, there's no reason why that woman should have known that. There's a lot of things, like, if you're not willing to do it, you should not share it to your next relationship. Granted, and it, to me, if you're not even willing to do it to begin with, your ass need to be in therapy to kind of figure that out. Like, I'm like I'm saying, not, don't let somebody take advantage if you don't have your boundaries. But at the same token, like, we see what happened, like, She's jealous as fuck, and I'm not going to say she has a right to be jealous, but you, she shouldn't have learned about what had happened in that past relationship as far as was, what was bought and all the other stuff. Maybe general spectrums of things, like, you know, I paid all the bills, which is typical for, you know, in a scenario and all like that. I bought her a lot of nice things, and she broke it or tore it up or threw temper tantrums, but it should never go into details and specifics. But back to another mistake you made. Again, that should have been a conversation when you saw those things. Those things should have been like, I can go half with you on this, this, and this. Or just buy those things and just be like, hey, babe, you know, I did this, this, and this. And another thing, you shouldn't really be comparing yourself to his ex. Granted, he put you in a position where you are, but you shouldn't be because this is a dude relationship, etc. and so forth. If he's not comparing you to her, then you, there's no reason why you should be comparing yourself to her. Like... I get why you did it because he had to constantly bring it up and for him to constantly be bringing it up that means he's still living through the trauma but you shouldn't be comparing yourself to that so 